In this video, I'll share five tips to make your day more organized as a founder and CEO. So of course, as a founder, you have a lot of work. I know you're busy, so I'll, I'll just get straight to the point. Get simple. Okay, you want your day organized. You want to get your work worked on, uh, worked on on time and as efficiently as possible. So let's just jump right into step number one. Step number one is connect your email and your calendar. You want it to make it e as easy as possible to keep your both your email and your cal calendar very organized. Okay, you may have a lot of meetings. You use your email all the time. And you sometimes you may use Teams, sometimes you may use Outlook, sometimes you may just set up your calendar, uh, calendar on your phone. Uh, so you want these to be synchronized to talk with each other. So there are settings to make uh, make these uh, connect. I won't share all of the implementation details in this video. Now I'll just bring awareness to the opportunities. But be sure to let me know in the comments if you want help to uh, want any help with actually implementing this in practice. So that's step number one. It becomes a lot more easier to uh, to actually keep your calendar more organized to get everything in order for, okay, get everything into one calendar, basically. Okay, you have your calendar straight on your phone. It has all the meetings, all the events, everything that you've put in, whether that be through Outlook, through Teams, or, or directly through your phone. All your events are in what is in one calendar you can check immediately okay you have a new uh, you you're scheduling a new meeting okay you can immediately check okay here i have time okay does this time work for you okay sending, sending a team uh, sending another meeting invites done okay great so that's the first step but the second uh, the second tip is to select a good sorting system for your email and what i mean by this is that you have a good way to organize your email generally okay you may you may get a lot of email as a founder as uh, as a ceo or or any other leader position you may uh, find yourself in and then it becomes can become a lot of email it can quickly become a lot of emails to to deal with and then it helps a lot to have a good sorting system to, uh, for this so that you okay when you get a new email you know kind of how to how to deal with this email so okay is this email something i'm going to do something about do i need to archive this okay if if you don't need to either okay if if the email is completely useless you don't need to actually do anything about it okay you can just okay cl uh, close it delete it and and that's the uh, that's finished and if you need to archive it. Okay, you can have another folder which has like proce uh, processed. I have I have that kind of sor uh, sorting system where I simply just have the inbox processed and deleted. Okay, the ones I don't need to archive, the ones I don't need, uh, don't. I'm not going to do anything more with. Just delete it. With but if I need to archive it for for later, something business related, uh, probably in in most cases. Okay, move it to processed. Okay, then I can find it later when I when I need it. But it's out of the inbox. It's finished. Uh, so I want my inbox to be as clean as possible. And then okay, when new emails come in, okay, I'll either answer, okay, or do the work task associated with that request or that thing as uh, thing. Uh, yeah, I nowadays I almost always have a, have a pretty clean, uh, clean inbox because uh, I actively use that sorting mechanism. So that's step number two. Step number three is to use a system for password, uh, both password generation and password safety. So like you need to have some sort of system. Like in, of course, when you are using maybe tens, hundreds of different platforms, sites systems and everything you're not going to remember a uh, hundred different for a 12 plus character uh, passwords right you're not going to remember all of those and if because if you if you are relying on just your memory to have okay maybe one two three different passwords for for 10 15 or more different uh, different sites it becomes a lot it becomes a security risk uh, for you and if you have sensitive documents sensitive information in your systems that 
becomes uh, becomes a bigger risk for you the more you uh, the more you do that and uh, it also is when you rely like okay you may have a pretty good uh, a relatively good a good memory but still in case you actually forget your password okay what do you do then okay you need to okay generate uh, generate a new a new password you need to go through all of this uh, process you, you waste a lot of time there compared to if you have one password uh, uh, like a password generator password bank so to speak okay you just need to remember one password and there all your passwords are and okay then you then you need to remember that one password and that password should be pretty safe but you need to remember that one okay so, but then when you have that password generator uh, or that password bank, then okay, you can generate new random uh, passwords there for each new each new site. You have good overview of your logins, and then you don't need to use so much time on okay, generate new password again and again because you forget it all the time. Take so much time. I've seen this with uh, with a lot of people. They're uh, they're relying on on their memory, and they have to spend so much time in going through this instead of actually just setting up the this password bank. Like personally, I recommend Bitwarden. I use Bitwarden because uh, it hasn't had any security breaches. If you look at other alternatives like LastPass, it's had a the last data breach in the end of two thousand and twenty two. So, uh, so I prefer Bitwarden kind of because of that, because of that, uh, more, it's more reliable based on, uh, based on the, the history of it. No security, no history of uh, security breach. It, of course, that doesn't mean that it's, it couldn't happen in the future, but it's a lot lower risk when, uh, it hasn't happened, uh, with that one since its beginning compared to, uh, other alternatives like LastPass. So that's the tip number two. Three and tip number four is actually to uh, regarding transport to use Google Maps or uh, iMaps for uh, uh, for determining the time for transportation. So what I found to be pretty interesting is that this like almost no matter where you go in the world, this uh, these platforms ha have integrations with like both uh, a lot a lot of options for both. Uh, not only public uh, public transport and uh, even ele uh, even electric scooters and other uh, and other things for okay how can you get from A to B in uh, in the fastest way possible and uh, okay how what uh, how long time does does that take and then you can check immediately okay you're you're going to this place you have to arrive at this time okay then you can just set that and uh, you can check okay what are the alternative routes okay now the tram goes there okay the train the train goes there alternative you can you can walk there take the bus there or you can take an elect electronic scooter there and, and it's pretty it's pretty interesting how how integrated that is with a lot of different uh, platforms and uh, and, uh, uh, and transport alternatives nowadays so if you're not using uh, like it's another story if you're using a taxi or a plane uh, of course then you have to use specific apps for for those to determine the uh, the travel uh, uh, the travel time but uh, for for shorter trips uh, it's uh, it's definitely relevant to to use something like this to keep uh, to make sure that okay you're getting on time you're making sure that okay this uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm getting there on time and in the fastest way, fastest way possible, not not to waste time basically. So yeah, that's uh, that's tip number four. So tip number five is to use a system for uh, project management and uh, work management. So of course, like you have a lot of work as founder or as uh, as a leader generally. Okay, you you need to keep your work tasks organized. Okay, maybe in the complete beginning you uh you may not have more tasks than than just setting up a to-do list but okay you quickly realize that okay that isn't enough okay it's there are a lot of tasks that need to be done it needs to be uh, organized okay different projects different types of tasks uh, different priorities okay how do we deal with that and then it becomes a lot easier and scalable when you put those into a system that actually works for uh, and is well organized 
So there are a lot of different alternatives here. You can uh, look up different alternatives for uh, product management, work management. There are are meant to choose from there. Personally, I use uh, Azure De Azure DevOps. It's a pretty scale. It is it's a really scalable system, at, and it may seem advanced for those who don't have kind of coding, programming, tech, uh, ad ad more advanced technical experience. But you you don't really need to know how to code to to use azure devops okay you can take take a few basic uh, basic courses in it and and set it up the way you want as at a simple scale first but then eventually when you want to scale it's possible it's it's easier than to build build larger teams you can integrate it with code there are a lot of automation alternatives and uh, and so on so so that's why i like uh, azure devops uh, a lot for uh, for actually making my day more organized as uh, as a founder and uh, actually keeping keeping track of my tasks and uh, and systems. So so yeah, that's that was five tips for a more organized workday as a founder. So uh, to uh, to summarize, too long didn't didn't watch or something. Uh, connect connect and integrate your email and calendar uh, set up. Uh, uh, set up an organized uh, sorting system for your email. Uh, use a system for password management. Uh, use Google Maps or IMAPS for uh, evaluating the time, uh, the the time use for uh, your transportation, and use uh, use a tool for project management and work management. So yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if any of these tips were, were useful for you to uh, bring awareness about these, these tips or uh, what your experiences are with using these uh, these tips or different systems for, uh, for these so far or if you have any other tips or uh, tips or tricks so to speak to keep your day more organized as a founder or a leader let me know in the comments as well to continue the discussion and uh, and as always i uh, hope you all have a good day be sure to like and subscribe for for more videos like this and uh, i wish you all a great uh, great day and week forward